All right, hey guys, welcome to today's session, um, our live challenge. We're gonna be making a, uh, it's a make a giraffe um, that can't dance, <laughs> inspired by Lego figurines. Um, and your teacher today is uh, Myr Myrtle, Myrtle, uh, he has 14 years experience in the language translation industry. Um, he's also the founder at CMM Languages. Um, he laid the foundation brick for Sunday Bricks. He also designs Lego workshops, which is what we're doing today. Um, he, all, he guides parents and trains teachers. And yeah, he will be uh, leading today's session. So over to you. The thing that we all can do is let's just have all our bricks sorted, okay? So I've got all my two by four bricks, okay? These are my two by four bricks. I've got all my bricks sorted together, okay? Any color, that's fine, okay? I've got all my two by three bricks, okay? So that's two by three. I've got all my two by three bricks together. And what else? I've got all my two by two bricks together, right? So that, that makes it much, much easy for us uh, to build, okay? So till then, make sure you've got all your bricks stacked together, okay? Start the story first and then we're gonna build, okay? Giraffes can't dance. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim. But his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now every year in Africa, they hold a jungle dance, where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Joe felt so sad. Because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthog started waltzing. And the rhinos rock and roll. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel. And eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor. But the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald! The animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing, and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. me, coughed a cricket who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass, then listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. 
So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying, and his tail was swishing round. He threw his legs out sideways, and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Cheryl felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I am dancing. Yes, I'm dancing. I am dancing, Cheryl cried. <laughs> then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. Okay, that was the lovely story of Gerald the Giraffe. Okay, and of course, that's what we're going to start building first. So here's my Gerald the Giraffe. So that's what we're going to start building first. The lovely Gerald the Giraffe, okay. Uh, but before that, before that, let me just tell you something. You know, there's something called as modular building, okay, which means that when we build the giraffe, you know what, we're not going to build the giraffe all together. We're going to build the legs separately. We're going to build the neck separately. We'll build the face. We'll build the body separately. And you know what we do? We're just going to combine all of that together and build the giraffe, okay? So let's get going, okay? So what are we going to do? We're going to start with the legs. Do you all see the legs of the giraffe? I'm going to use my two by two brick. Can you see? That's my two by two brick, okay? So the giraffe has four legs, right? We all know the giraffe has four legs. So what am I going to do? I'm going to start building one leg at a time, okay? So let's say if I've got, if I've just got few bricks, okay, if I've got few of my two by two bricks, that's my leg number one, okay? So I've used one, two, three, four bricks. I've just made a simple pillar, okay? I've just made a simple standing line or a pillar and that becomes the leg of my giraffe, okay? But remember, we've got to build four legs, okay? So that's my leg number one, okay? Get building with the other legs. That's my leg number two. And don't worry about the colors. You can use any colors, okay? Don't worry about the colors. Use any colors that you have in your Lego box, okay? Well, they're called the hooves, okay? They're called the hooves of the giraffe, okay? So that's, that's what we're going to build. And if you are done with four legs, we can start building the hooves of the giraffe. And you can use a two by three piece, okay? Lovely. So I'm going to take my two by three break okay that's my two by three break and i'm going to start building my hooves okay so maximum how that's what you're going to fit under the feet of the giraffe you're going to add the feet of the giraffe okay the hooves for that i am using a two by three break okay if you do not have two by three you can also use a two by four break so that's two by three and what is a two by four let me show you that okay so that's two by four Okay, that's two by four. And if you do not have that, definitely you can use two by three. Okay, it's very simple. So four legs, 
So we've got four feet, okay? One, I'm gonna add, that's two, number three, and number four. Yes, lovely. What our feet? We've got four legs of giraffe, and we've got the feet or the hooves ready, okay? So, now what do we have here, okay? We're done with the legs of the giraffe. Now that's the body of the giraffe and we've got a real tall neck of the giraffe. Again, I'm using a two by two piece, okay? So depending upon how many two by two pieces you have, you can build a tall neck of the giraffe. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. So let's build the neck of the giraffe, okay? And then remember what I said, we're gonna join all of it together. The face of giraffe because Above the neck, we've got the face of giraffe, okay? Let me show you. I am going to, okay, that's, where's my neck? My neck is here. And what am I going to do? I'm going to take a one, a two by four plate. Can you see that? That's a two by four plate. I'm sure you have a two by four plate, okay? So I'm just going to put it here on top of the neck. I'm going to start building the face now. And if you really can't find the plate, you can use the brick, okay? If you really can't find the plate, you can use the brick. This is called as a two by two slopey brick, okay? You see it's sloping down, it's like a slide. It's like the swimming pool slide, it's like the water park slide. And I am just gonna place it here, okay? Look at this, let's start building the lovely face of the giraffe. Now what, I've got my eyes here. How can we fix the eyes? I've got one eye here and another one here. How are we going to do that? Does everybody have the Lego eye? Do you have the Lego eye? I'm sure you have. Yes. So what makes the Lego eye? Let me show you. That's the one by one connector. Okay. This is called as a one by one connector. And on top of the connector, I'm going to add the eyes. Okay, the eye goes on the connector like this. But remember, I need two eyes, okay? Because one for the right side, one for the left side, okay? So I'm gonna fix my eye here. One eye here, and the other eye gets fixed here. Okay, remember, humans look in front, okay? Humans have eyes here, but the animals have eyes on the side. That's why we're placing the eyes on the side, okay? The birds, um, and a lot of animals have their eyes on the side and you also fix the brick on top. So good. That was super quick. Lovely. Awesome. Yes. And maximum how we're just going to complete the face with another two by two slopey brick. Yes. Look, how did I build? I use the lever here. Can you see the lever? That's what I built. That's what I use for my ossicons. Okay. Now, if you do not have this piece, if you do not have this piece, what do we do? Okay. I am going to use something that is called as a Lego tap. Look at this. That's another option. Okay. If you found the lever, find two levers. If you find the tap, find two taps. Wonderful. Now, if you do not have this one as well, you surely have something like this. Okay, maximum how, that's option number one. The Lego tap is op option number two. And this one by one circular piece is option number three. You can use anything to build the ossicones, okay? We've got the face ready, okay? We've got the face with all the ossicones ready, okay? Now, Mr. Giraffe says, where is my body? You didn't build a body for me. Mr. Giraffe says, where is my body? When are you going to build my body? Okay. So that's what we're going to build now. A body for Mr. Giraffe. Okay. Let's build the body. Chalo. So, oh. So let me, let me quickly show you. What do I need for the body? Eight of my two by four pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Okay. I am going to use eight of my two by four pieces, okay? I want you to build on your table. Now, this is my table, okay? That's my dining table. That's my study table. That's the floor where I'm building. Don't build it on the plate. I don't want you to build it on the plate. I am going to build it here so that I can show it to you, okay? 
build it on your table okay how you are going to build it like this like this okay let me show you so one two okay let me show you what are we building how are we building the body three and four okay that's my four pieces on my table do not build it on a plate okay don't build it on a plate build it on the table okay that's my piece number five my piece number six okay and my piece number seven look at this and you should be able to hold it like this after you build it you should be able to hold it like this these are all my two by four pieces okay let's just press this make sure it's all firm make sure it's all firm lovely while while you are just getting ready for the other parts remember one side of the body is really smooth and the other side is where we're going to build the tail of the giraffe okay one side we're going to build the tail of the giraffe and the other side we're going to build the smooth part of the body so what am i going to do i am going to take one of my one by four piece that's my one by four piece and i am just going to place it here let's build the body or let's build the complete giraffe okay i am going to fix okay maximum how are you there i am going to fix the neck of my giraffe okay i am going to fix the neck of my giraffe on the body okay where's the body get the body of the giraffe and you're going to fix the neck lovely now what are we going to do we're going to fix the four legs let me show you how that's going to work okay be careful super careful i don't want you to break your giraffe jeral the giraffe we've got to fix the tail so look at the tail i'm going to fix my tail okay my giraffe tail okay not my tail i don't have a tail okay okay i'm going to fix the tail always make use of the pieces that you have lovely maximum how superb i still don't like this giraffe because it looks like a horse somebody can sit on this giraffe you know what somebody can sit on this giraffe how are we going to make it even better let me show you okay how about using more of these pieces and giving it a slope okay how about using so what am i going to do look at this if you want to just take some help i am going to take some more 2 by 4 pieces i filled it up okay i fill that up okay and i am going to build a back which is even more slopy okay so look at this can you see that yep have you seen such a piece in your lego box no okay this is called as a turn table look at this okay this is called as a turn table okay lovely now if you find a piece like this and now let me show you what do i do i am just going to fix my turn table here okay and the neck is moving okay for the neck okay if you do not have the piece if you do not have the turn table piece don't worry about it that's fine that's something that's really optional okay don't worry about it if you don't have the piece okay that's really really fine okay wonderful so we're ready with our giraffe jeral the giraffe is ready okay jeral the giraffe is ready and it was so easy to build did you enjoy building the giraffe did you enjoy building the giraffe yes it was fun it was really fun okay okay have a lovely day have a lovely weekend and i'm going to see you very soon okay bye bye enjoy